Hi there, this is Miguel Nunez. Hope you're doing good. As you know, right now, the real estate market is very hot. Interest rates are down. Prices are going up. And of course, the cap of all of that, so don't panic, is affordability. So anyway, I'm sure with all of your cases, there's plenty of real estate that is being sold and acquired. So here, I just want to share with you just very quickly some pointers on, on what, what issues we've had on a lot of the title uh, reports that we've shown. So again, I'm going to go really fast through these. Call me if you have any specific questions, but you know, we put together the top 10 potential title problems. So number one, public records, mistakes. The people who input the information at the county sometimes make mistakes, so make sure you read everything. There's some sometimes spelling errors, typos. Always check for that. It always hurts you when you're all ready to close and they, they see that there's a difference. Let's, let's catch it early. Unknown liens. Again, these liens will surface at the last minute, so be careful that, that you know, we've, we had one with a million dollar lien from the IRS that surfaced a month before we closed. So again, keep an eye on that. Illegal deeds. You know, people can do strange things and they get creative and there are some deeds that are done illegally. So also check, check for that. Missing heirs, that's something you deal with every day and sometimes they'll resurface at the last minute. Forgeries, I had with that a case where there was a situation where somebody forged the signatures and they were able to get a, a loan. So okay, it happens out there. Surveyor boundary issues, especially with properties out of the uh, more in the East County, make sure that you have the time to spend and, and make sure that the, the, locate, the corners are located. Undiscovered encumbrances and unknown easements, the same thing. All of these, for whatever reason, they surface at the last minute. So when you have a property, immediately go and look at your uh, preliminary title and see what, if there's something that looks weird. If not, also we can call the, uh, the title officer and that will help you with that as well. Undiscovered well, again, something that you deal with on a pretty much daily basis also. And false impersonation of previous owner. I mean, this happens a lot where children, sometimes, you know, in the, in the Latin families, kids have the same names as their, as their parents, and sometimes they try to sell property when the parent is dead because they have the same name. So anyway, quick list. Sorry for the rushing, but as always, call me if you have any questions. Take care. Bye-bye.